Hi, Missy and Kate. It's Missy and Tanea. And Miss Lexi, we hope you and your families are having a great week so far. We are so excited for our lesson today. But first, let's start with our Mosaic Kids Memory Challenge. So if you aren't already, go ahead and stand up and wiggle it out. Our memory challenge that we are going to review for today is Psalm 1611. And it says, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Now repeat after me with the hand motions. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16 colon 11. Good job, guys. Awesome. Well, now um, we are going to move in to our MKQ&A. And you guys know what this is um, by now. MKQ&A is memorizing truths about who God is in the form of question and answer. And so we know we, that we do this in other ways. For example, what are the names of Andy's two favorite toys? Buzz Lightyear and Woody. What does Lightning McQueen want to win in cars? The Piston Cup. Who helps find Nemo in Finding Nemo? His father, Marlin, and their friend, Dory. So we are going to do something similar, except for all of our questions and answers will help us learn more about God and how he is good, great, glorious, and gracious. Are you ready to get started? Awesome. But first, we are going to play a game. And we are going to play Captain's Orders, which y'all have all played by now, but I will just yeah. kind of give us a review of the command. So if I say attention, you're going to say, aye, aye, Captain, and put your hand by your forehead. Good job. And then, if I, and then if I say a big wave's are coming, you're going to run to the back or the side of the room. Big wave's are coming. Yep. Good job, Antonia. And then if I say scrub the deck, you are going to get on the floor and pretend like you're scrubbing the deck. And then if lastly, if I say raise the sails, you're going to pretend to pull on a rope and raise the sails. Okay, are y'all ready? Yes. Okay, ready? Big waves are coming. <laughs> Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Scrub the deck. Raise the sails. Big waves are coming. Scrub the deck. Whoop. Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Raise the sails. Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Scrub the deck. Big waves are coming. <laughs> Attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Good job. Oh, man. Only struggle is that Missy Tanea is always out of breath after these. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was super fun. Thank you, Miss Lexi. Now it is time for our MK Q&A of this week. And right now, we are in the process of learning about the Ten Commandments. And so our question for this week is, what does God require in the Sixth, Seventh, and Eighth Commandments? And it is, six, that we do not hurt or hate our neighbor. Seventh, that we live purely and faithfully. Eighth, that we do not take without permission that which belongs to someone else. And so everything we learn in MK Q&A comes from the Bible. And the Bible is God's true word. It is from God and it is about God. So our verse for this Q&A is actually Romans 13, 9, which says, for the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And so we are learning about the 10 commandments. And when God rescued his people out of slavery in Egypt, he knew that they needed a new way to live, to relate to him and to one another. And so he gave them the law. Can you say the law on three? One, two, three. The law. Good job. And the law is a set of good and loving rules that God gives his children because he cares about them. Do you have good and loving rules at your house? Of course, because rules help us to love one another. 
and God's rules, his laws are good and loving because he is good and loving. And so God's law, God's good and loving rules are about love, they're about worship, and they're also about love for neighbor. So what does God require in the sixth, seventh, and eighth commandments? Well, six, that we do not hurt or hate our neighbor. So God made everyone, and so we should see each person as made in the image of God. Can you say image of God on three? One, two, three. Image of God. Good job. So just like you are so precious to God, other people are precious to God too. So we should be kind with our words and our actions and our thoughts out of respect for God, but also love for our neighbor. And then seventh, that we live purely and faithfully. So when a man and a woman get married, they make a special promise to God and to each other. And so God knows it is best that these promises are kept both to him and to each other. But even when you are not married, everyone is meant to love their neighbor by respecting the very special promises that a man and a woman make to each other when they get married. We have a fun airplane going over. And then eight that we do not take without permission that which belongs to someone else. So this one is super, super important. Do other people sometimes have something that you want? Yeah, it happens all the time. But God knows what's best for us. And really everything that anyone has comes from God. And so you know what is, what's way better than taking something from someone? It's celebrating with them. We know that everything comes from God, and so we should celebrate that God has been so kind to give them whatever this gift is. But also, do you ever have something that other people want? Maybe your friends or your siblings? Yeah, that happens too. In that case, you know what we can do? We can share. Because everything we have been given is really God's, we can celebrate when our friends or siblings or someone at the park has something that we desire, and when we have something that others might desire, we can also choose to share. So before we wrap up, let's remember one of our four foundational truths, and that is God is glorious. He satisfies his people. Can you do the motions with me on three? One, two, three. God is glorious. He satisfies his people. So God is what is best, and only God can fully satisfy us. God gives us good gifts that we can enjoy. But just like our emotions roll up to God, our gratitude for his good gifts should also roll up to God. When we start hurting other people or taking what's not ours or breaking promises, it means that we're not loving other people well. And God wants us to love others because he made everyone. And he knows that hurting others won't truly satisfy us. That breaking promises won't truly satisfy us. And that taking what is not ours won't fully satisfy us either. And you know what? If you've ever taken a toy from a sibling or you've been mean to someone, that you know that for a few moments it feels good, but that doesn't ever last. What does last is loving and enjoying God because our hearts were made for him. Let's pray. Father, you are glorious and you satisfy us. You satisfy your people. And so I do pray that as we consider what it means to love our neighbor, that we would choose that which we know um, leads us to you because you are the only one who can satisfy us. We thank you for good gifts. We thank you for um, moms and dads who have made promises to one another. We thank you that we can use our words and our actions to build up and not to hurt people. Would you help us to do those things and to encourage um, and be built up in you? For all these things, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now it's time for some review questions to see how well we were listening. After I ask the question, go ahead and pause the video and shout out the answer. Then unpause to hear the answer. Question one, what is the sixth commandment? To not hurt or hate your neighbor. Question two, what is the seventh commandment? You shall not commit adultery. What is the eighth commandment? You shall not steal. Okay, now we're gonna practice all of our 10 commandments with our hand motions. So, um, you shall have no other gods before me, so it's one finger. Commandment two, you shall not make for yourself an idol. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall um, not steal. You shall not give false testimony. And you shall not covet. Okay, good job, guys. We'll see you Sunday. Bye.